Hey guys, it's me Gigi. So this video is going to be um, my fake friends part two. The reason I'm doing a part two is because another incident happened in math class with the same exact people. If you want to go check out the first video, click the link below and I'll put an annotation either here, here, or up in these corners, or yeah, in these corners. I don't know. I'll just pair on in the screen. Got my part though. It's a side part, I know. So, um, sorry if you can like ran in the back is because it's pouring like I like a hurricane on Sunday called Hurricane Kwan. Juan, I don't even know. But it's like pouring. You don't get much of a view over here. Well, on the side, like my side window over there, you get like the view, you can hear it, you can see it, and, and, yeah. So let's get started. So I was in math class, and um, the girl, the not the girl, the boy Sebastian, the girl Angie, and the girl Amber. So Mr. Well, I'm not going to say his name, but I'm going to call him Mr. Brush. Um, he told us to do, Mr. Brush told us to do, um, the next, we had to do, we had to finish chapter, uh, well, we had to finish, um, oh my gosh, brain fart, we had to finish lesson 11 in our math book. So, um, I'm like, okay, he said to work in pairs, but we have a group of five, and that's in uneven number so one some people had to work a three group like some people had to be in a group of three some people had to be in a group of two I'm independent but I worked in a group of two two team but I worked in a group of two and I worked with a group a boy Matthew um he sits at our table he just moved to our table He's not new or anything, but he just moved to our table. And then he tells us to work with the rest of them. So Amber, Angie, and Sebastian, of course, are working together as three. And um, I'm working with Matthew because he's really good at math. And I get most of my work finished. Because when Amber and Angie and Sebastian do work together, all you hear, like, say this is my binder. This is my sister's binder. But see, this is my binder. I'm over here trying to do my math, trying to complete it. I'm like, hmm, let me see if I can get this answer. Okay, so while I'm doing my work, all you hear is Amber in the background giggling, and then Sebastian in the background just making Amber laugh. And I'm trying to do my work. I'm trying to get A+. Plus cause, and trust me, I'm like failing in math, but my grades have been getting up. So I'm really happy about that. My grades have been going up, but I really can't. If I'm going to keep my grades good, I need to concentrate and do my work. But I can't concentrate and do my work because Amber and Sebastian, they love like combining themselves together and making some sort of tornado hurricane for me because I cannot get my work done without them in the background. Like, oh, here's Amber like this. <laughs> And Sebastian like, <laughs> and then Angie is just sitting over there trying to talk to me. I'm like, start! I'm trying to do my work. Forget that. And then she gets to ask her, she rolls her eyes, which I really don't care about. And then she goes back to doing her work. And then today I got so sick. Just sick and tired of Amber and Sebastian and Angie's annoyingness of me trying to do my work. So I'm trying to do my work, right? And then all you hear, and then Mr. Brush had to go out of the room. He had to go out of the room about three, four, five times after the last time a, two, a substitute came in because he they had to go to a meeting. Yeah, some sort of like PTA or PAT, some, some sort of meeting. That's all I know. And, uh, like, when the teacher is not there, our class just decides to act straight up retarded. And I have to be the mature one to say, be quiet, be quiet, because if the teacher was to you going to be doing all of this. 
And, um, yeah. And then when he comes in, he has to say, be quiet, be quiet. And then when he leaves the room again, they make more noise. Do you understand some people actually want to pass their class and get their grades up? Do you understand that? Guess they didn't. So then I put my book down, like, because I had, because one of the people that was sitting at the table, one of the girls, I'm going to say, um, one of them liked to look at your paper and copy down their answers and say, oh, I got the same answer as you. One of them likes to do that. I'm not going to say names. But I had my binder up like this and then my workbook down there so nobody could see my answers. So I'm over there writing only now to see my answers because we were partners. So I'm working and then I'm, I'm just sick and tired of hearing Amber like giggling. Then I close my eyes, say something, put my book down, my binder down. Okay, then I tell Amber and Sebastian and Angie. Do you get, this is what I said to them, do you get, now some people actually want to pass their classes, get good, gra get good grades, and be a good student. But I guess you guys don't know what that is because every time I'm trying to do my work, you, Sebastian, and Angie are just in the background like, <laughs> like, you understand that some people actually want to get things done? And if you want to get it done correct, you have to be quiet for some people to focus and concentrate. But you can't do that in this class because they love giggling. They just like being some immature kids. Then I have to keep telling the class to shh, shh. I get sick and tired of it because I'm wasting my time trying to keep this class from getting in trouble. And then Amber says something smart. She said, um, you act like you're the boss of us. You act like you're grown. I'm like, well, they want to stack mature, so that's what I'm doing right now. Like, that's how any responsible 10, 11, 12 year old will act. But y'all don't know how to act like that. And I'm like the youngest one in the classroom. I'm 10 years old. Everybody's like 11, 12. And some of them older than me by like a day, um, a month, a week, like that. But I'm still the youngest one. And the youngest one usually has to be the more responsible one. Because the rest of them is thundering. But they don't know how to act. So the youngest one usually has to like stick up for like the retarded big ones. And then she says, Y'all like you're the bus of stuff like somewhere. I'm like, I don't care. If Mr. Green wasn't here, y'all wouldn't be doing any of this. And I said this and I'm trying to get my work done, but y'all don't know how to like be quiet so other people can get their work done. And then she says, Oh, she wants to have some good back to her. I'm like, and then I said to myself, I don't really care because I don't care if she get love back. I don't care if Angie get love back. I don't care if Sebastian get love back. I don't care if any of them get love back. Good if you um pass the next year, which I hope you do, but the way you don't know how to focus and do your work, you might not. So I'm always trying to do my work, and I can't. And then I said on Tuesday, because we have no school on Monday because of Columbus Day. But on said on when we come back on Tuesday, I'm going to ask Mr. Brush if he can change my seat because he gave me the group. Like we on the first day of school, he let us pick our own groups, and I don't know why I picked to go to Angie, Amber, and Sebastian's group. I don't know why I picked there. So I guess on Tuesday is gonna be my final leaf. I'm gonna make like a tree. And leaf. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have something to say to me, say in the comments below. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Like, comment, okay. Stay safe. Bye.